Okay, here we are at 1376 Pearl Street in Denver. I am on 14th Avenue walking west. Here's the alley. There is no parking with this unit number B2. Uh, it looks like it has its own entrance from the courtyard, but we have to go around to the front to get the key out of the lockbox. While I'm walking, it's 388 square feet and priced at 185. The list date was November 15th when it came on the market. And the lock boxes are going to be right up here. So here's kind of the main entrance with the buzzer. So there, I'm not sure if there's an entrance from the hallway on this one or not. We have the one with the white thing on it. So let me get the key out and we'll go around to the courtyard and enter. At least I think that's where we enter. Maybe we enter up front here, I'm not sure. I think it's around to the side. All right. Here's the keys. Let's see if it works on this door. Yep. Okay. So that key works on the front door. So we are in the secured building here. stairway in the back. This is first floor units. There's a bulletin board here. And yeah, so there's a stairway going down. Another one going down in the back. So we'll go down. This says it's an exit. I'm not quite sure where it went out, but this is B4, B5. We're gonna go back to B2, B3. We've got some pictures here on the wall, some kind of historical pictures. Here's B2. So it is on the 14th Avenue street side. While we're here, I'll show you the laundry room. This is right across from the laundry and bike storage. So there are $1.75 washing machines and there are three washers and three dryers. The dryers are $1.50 and then a little buggy and each unit has a storage so that's b1 so the storage for this unit well it might be that one that's not labeled or it might be one of those two over there that's not labeled or this one has a padlock on it okay so there's the courtyard out there this unit is on the street side, so. Here's the electric meters. And you go up one, two, three, four, five, six steps to the door that goes out to the alley. And. hallway out here. 
it's just a little threshold, a couple inches up right there. And coming in to the unit, it has fur uh, flooring, so it's wood, it's a pine flooring. And you kind of enter right into the living room area here. Behind the front door, which I'm closing now, is the bathroom. And it has a nice, I think that's uh, a vinyl plank or a vinyl flooring of some type that looks like wood. Nice big pedestal sink, medicine cabinet, and secondary medicine cabinet above. Toilet, and it has a huge shower. a knockdown texture ceiling here in the bathroom. Here's a shower. It has two shower caddies on this side for soap and shampoo and stuff like that. And really nice glass doors. Even have a little kind of a little rubber clear lip here to keep water from going out. And kind of a rubber, I don't know if it's rubber, but it's a clear kind of gasket. And it doesn't quite go all the way to the end, but that can maybe be adjusted, keep water from going out. But it's a extra deep shower that's the size of like a full bathtub length and uh, Really nice. Coming back out into the main room. Here's the kitchen along this wall. The ceiling is an acoustical sprayed on ceiling that they've sprayed on at some point over the conduit for the electrical. There's your carbon monoxide and smoke combination alarm. Ceiling fan light fixture, stainless steel appliances, no dishwasher. And some cool medallion type lighting there. Newer cabinets. It's got kind of a kind of a wood dropped ceiling there. That's probably to hide plumbing or something from upstairs. And it has a nice granite countertop. A nice countertop, tile backsplash. Nice faucet, underhung sink, double basin sink. And there is no garbage disposal. Exposed brick. There is an exterior entrance, which is cool. And there's kind of the nook over there, probably for the bed. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that goes back in about, I don't know, five and a half feet, probably. I'll step it off. And you have a nice living room here. And a little bit of it. Got a one inch little step up here to the kitchen. The ceramic tile floor. And then I'll step off this. See how many feet it is. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's about five and a half feet. There might be a good place for the bed. Here's a nice little living area. A little bistro table there. So looking out, you're looking out at street level here that I just walked down. That's the corner of 14th and Pearl. You can see the 
Um, United Bank building, Wells Fargo Tower with the curved roof right there. That's at the corner basically of 17th and, and Grant, um, Sherman, between Sherman and Grant. Some kind of a, looks like probably an office conversion building from an old mansion there with parking behind it. Then over here, actually, there's my finger. Over across the alley that way is a newer nice condo building that's about three or four stories. So this goes out to the mud room and exterior entrance out to 14th Avenue side. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. So this is kind of your closet out here. And it has a light. And it's tile floor, all bricks around, old uh, kind of uh, ship lab, uh ceiling, I think is what they call that. And it's a nice big shelf that's probably about oh, 30 inches deep. And the clothes rod here, coming back around. This is the mudroom walk-in closet exterior entrance. You can see a little daylight from that door. It's a little chilly in this room, but you could probably put some weather stripping on there. And improve the heat savings in here. So going out, we have two steps and they are like old brownstone steps. So really cool. I mean, they're red, but I think they call that brownstone. And stepping out here, looks like there's dog, dog friendly. And uh, some dog prints. And you have your own little sidewalk with one step down to the sidewalk. These other units above have a secondary access via their fire escapes. And there's another one, two, three floors above. So it's a three story plus garden level basement. So this is the north side of the building. We'll go out to the courtyard here in a second. But yeah, there's that newer condo building with uh, underground parking garage, four stories. And then that's the corner of 14th and Washington there. So you are the middle unit here. There's another, well, there's another something behind over here. I'm not sure if there's a unit or storage or boiler room, but you're not right on the alley. It's this unit right here from this corner, that's the closet, the mudroom, come around here, and it goes to here, is where the kitchen is. So that's kind of the end. So, right above, they have balconies above, so. Anyhow, instead of a balcony, you have this room here, so. Get my feet kicked off a little bit here. say overall very good condition this is the electrical panel and it's doesn't say the year but I would say newer era just because it's breakers as opposed to fused boxes and whatnot here's the inside of the fridge oh we can I'll throw in the reversing the swing of this door so it swings out this way <laughs> if you want this might be annoying to have to step around the door every time you want to get in there no ice maker or anything but just nice clean looks like a new fridge Vasani and then an electric stove and it does not appear to be a self-cleaning stove 
Although it's clean now, it looks brand new actually. Microwave looks new and it is not wired yet. Where is it? That's interesting. This must be the electrical for this stove. Okay, so that's the 220 connection for the, the electric stove here. Um, the microwave is already wired and plumbed, or plumbed. Then down here, it's a Montana stove. And that's interesting, there's a wire there. So there's obviously a 220 connection. I don't know what that electrical in the microwave is. I have to figure that out. So. Anyhow. It's a nice unit. It's got uh, kind of the radiant heat pipe coming through with the insulation around it. I'm not really seeing any temperature control in here. So I think you're kind of at the mercy of whatever the heat coming through. This is, here's your, oh, here's your radiator. Okay, so there should be an adjustment on that that you can turn it up or, or down. Actually, some good heat coming out right there. So that's, there's two radiators. Okay, so that's how you control that. All right. And sorry for the spinning around here. I'm not sure how to get these lights out. Do they were on? And the bathroom again. I would say it's in real nice shape. Uh, both doors had dead bolts on them. And we'll go on out. This must be a mechanical room, because that's kind of where the boiler pipes were going. So your next door unit is kind of not a person. It appears to be. Yeah, I'm not sure if we got a key to this or not. Well, I don't know really want to tell you. But uh, these might just be other people's storage or building storage. Anyhow, this goes out to the alley. And it has a, looks like an alarm on it. So I don't quite want to go out that. So it might start off an alarm. I mean, it's got a couple steps down to the alley. And this is upstairs. I don't hear any barking dogs or anything. stairs we took back down to the B level and both some board oh you know what I kind of want to go up to the top See if there's any kind of a balcony up at the top. My friend 
Kevin's building, which is just like this. And Tenth and Pearl has a balcony out on the front, on the top floor. So that's the very top level, the 300 level. Okay, so no balcony. But this is the view from the third floor, state capitol. And that's the end of the video. I will do another one real quick of the courtyard.